I've had some regrets living in the UK for the past couple of years and so in today's video we are going to be talking about my regrets so far. Hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is Mercy and on this channel we talk about migration, nursing, lifestyle and vlogs and I hope this is something that would be worth your time that would make you smash in the subscribe button, like the content on the channel and share it to friends and family. Turn on your post notification bell as well so that by the time i put out a new content you will be the first person to be notified and you would find value from the content so i've spent three years and some months in the uk and do i regret moving to the country well i've got some things i wish are different and so we're going to be talking about it today first off you see that distance distance to the fact that you cannot just go to your father's house or to your mother's house to just go and spend the weekend or go see friends and hang out easily that's something i regret <laughs> because normally i could just ring up my friends and say okay we're hanging out today and we need to plan or something or we need to just go out just have fun do not plan for something just do it spontaneously but in this scenario, oh, well, that's not the case though. Because for you to even see your next door neighbor, you need to ring them. Yes, you need to ring them and book an appointment and say, okay, I'm coming to your house today and I'm coming to your house by six o'clock. So that's something something I regret. I, it's not a full, full, full regret, but it's something I don't like. Yes. So for the fact that I cannot easily see my parents, I mean, video calls are there um voice calls are there as well but it's not like when you see the person physically you understand that presence that physical is no longer there but we're managing we're trying and we know it's going to be better very soon <laughs> so that's number one on my list number two i will give you a scenario or a story so when i first moved into the country i moved during covid and so I decided to get a driver's license. And here in the UK, for you to get a full-time driver's license, you need to do a theory exam first and then do the practical session. And when you pass both of them, then you can be given a UK driver's license. Coming from Nigeria, your girl did not know how to drive. Nothing. Thing. I don't know how to do anything. I don't know how to drive. So I decided to move to the UK and get settled, you know, adapt to the UK's weather, the inmates and everything. I needed to adapt to everything. So I said, fine, I was going to get the driver's license. I got the theory certificate. I did the exam. I passed. And the next stage was to get a driving instructor. Hmm. I started searching and searching. I did not want to do manual car because manual car is stressful. I first got a manual driving instructor, but I was like, I don't want that. I want an automatic car. Every other person I was ringing, each one of them had the backlog of 12 months. So because it was COVID and they were not really doing driving instructions, they had a waiting list of 12 months, 12 freaking months. Some people even had up to 13 months and longer. And so they were like, ah, we can add you to the waiting list though, but for us to do driving instructions with you currently, we can't offer that option because it is not available. So I started with the manual driving instructor, but then I moved out of the location and I moved to somewhere else and bear it in mind that that theory driving certificate it lasts for two years and you know there was already a backlog of 12 months for over a year i did not do any driving instruction or so my certificate time was counting and counting and counting and when i finally got an instructor driving theory driving certificate has expired so what did i use it for wasted my time wasted my money and guess what I still don't know how to drive. <laughs> I'm still looking for a driving instructor. But before I get a driving instructor, I have to write the driving exam again. And so your baby girl is just tired. I cannot, I cannot even stress it. Mm -mm. I can't stress it. So right now I'm chilling until when I psych myself up again to decide to write the theory exam again before I can decide to say I will put myself through that stress. Because mind you, I'm wasting money I'm paying for it per hour. And per hour is like twice the amount I am being... What the 
what am I saying twice? Three times the amount of money I am being paid as a nurse. That's what a driving instructor is getting per hour. So I was like, calm down, girl. Don't waste that money again. So that's something else I regret. I regret wasting that money I spent in all of the hours I went for driving instruction. I mean, let me even tell you, I even went to another city. This is the worst. <laughs> To go and meet a driving instructor there to learn how to drive because i was trying to beat up this whole time for the theory certificate that was going to expire so that's something i regret i regret it with all of my muscle with every energy i have i regret it hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is mercy and for my returning subscribers you guys are amazing thank you so much for coming back to watch the content on the channel and for those of you just seeing my face for the first time let me introduce myself to you. My name is Mercy and on this channel we talk about migration abroad, we talk about nursing, updates in the UK, lifestyle and blogs. If this is something that you are interested in, I will encourage you to smash in the subscribe button, like the content on the channel because that way YouTube's algorithm is going to push it out more for people to get the same value as you are getting turn on your post notification bell so that by the time i put out a new content you will be the first person to be notified and without wasting your time let's get right back into the video the third one oh this one is personal to me mm, 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 mm. very personal so i have had a time when i stayed in a house here oh lord in heaven some people in this life I tell you, people are some neighbors are just not amazing people. And you see, in this life, never again, never again will I have such experience. And I mean, I'm not deterring people from staying in house shares. House shares are amazing if you have good people living with you. I've lived with good people in a house share before, but then some other people. It's not straight at all. It is not straight. One of the benefits of staying in a house share is the fact that you can save. And that's because your house rate is all bills inclusive. So you don't have to bother about paying council tax or electricity bills or any other utility bills. Everything is all included in your house rent. But then when you are living with people who are not God fearing, <laughs> people who do not have the spirit of god in them you will regret ever staying in that property so it's something i regret in this life and i'm not deterring you you can still go ahead if it is something that you do not mind i would want to hear your opinions in the comment section what do you think have you ever been in a house here before do you regret staying in a house here before is this something you would want to try if you have never been in a house here before and i'm waiting for your comments so i can you know get lessons from you recommendations from you as well and i'm sure it would be fun i hope you have liked this and i hope you have been entertained with my regrets there are lessons i have learned and there are things that i would not want to repeat in the future so what have you regretted about living in the country living in the uk or any other country or wherever it is that you're watching from what have you done in the past that you feel this is something that you have learned from please share it in the comment section so we can all learn from you and until the next time you keep being amazing and have a wonderful day